Thanks, Mike. Steve here from Caltrans. How you doing? Good. Good to yeah. see you. Yeah. Do, you get any, do you get in traffic delays? Do you have like a siren or something you can put on to get through it? No, I got to sit there. You got to like sit there, too. Else, yeah. you know, here's what drives me crazy. I hear people in town, and they, they, the, the people that I think do this complain about everything. But they're like, oh, God, the traffic's so bad. It looks good. That's what I always say. Like, I'm yeah. tired of people complaining. When I hear it, I go, yeah, it's, it's an inconvenience. But look at how good it looks where we've done the work and we've needed it forever. It's really looking good what you guys have done. Yeah, last month was definitely probably the most impactful I sure. think I talked to you because of the grinding and paving. We had to choke it down to just one lane in yeah. each direction. No, it for, was. For it was backed up. And, and you had come in ahead of time. You had, I felt informed. You had told us, told our, our viewing audience that that was going to happen. And, yeah. you know, it did and whatever. Like, I think where we're doing the work, I love all that that rock work those mm -hmm. guys have yeah. done. It's incredible and having sidewalks and what do you call them, light, like street lights? I mean, is that what those uh, the cool lights we have all along the, the side looks great? Yeah, it's coming along nicely, and they're right on schedule. And, and we talked off air. They're going to try and work all the way through the month. I know right. October 15th is the date that resonates with everyone. Sure. But now, That's what I asked you when you came in. Right. But now we go week to week. Uh, and if the weather allows us, we're going to try and work all the way through the end of the month. Uh huh. And yeah, in the forecast, we just were talking about the forecast looks dry for at least a week. And the National Weather Service, I'm sure you're looking at the same thing, right. says maybe another two weeks and who knows beyond that. So you guys just get a special permit and you just keep going. So is that, that includes and it'll be similar to what we've been seeing there on Highway 50? Uh, it'll be a little different because all the grinding and paving work is done. They finished that up on Friday. Uh, so it's now what we call punch lifts. So we're doing erosion control. We're putting up permanent signs. We're doing some signal and electrical work, not uh -huh. the heavy lifting that you saw last month. But so, so for people, how it's going to affect people in our community, does that mean probably not as big a traffic delays? There won't be as many lanes closed? Yeah, they're working on the sh primarily on the shoulders, but oh, on okay. both sides of the highway. Cool. So they're taking the number two lane on, on each direction. But it shouldn't be as impactful, but still some delays for oh, sure. That's good. I mean, that's, uh, you know. And then... As we move forward to next year, uh, you know, at some point we'll close down this year, end of the month, whatever the weather does. Yeah. Um, heading into next year, are you guys doing the stuff on um, Sierra Boulevard? Is that your work as well? That's the city. So the city okay. ties into our work, and we'll coordinate with the city on that. And then next year we'll finish up our phase three work. Which is which is where? From Sierra to uh, Trout Creek. Uh huh. Okay. Yeah. And and then we're done. Done. Yeah. So so next year uh, will be the end. Like when we wrap it up next year, we'll be done here in town and have the final finished product. Correct. So for all our uh, water quality improvement projects that we started about a decade or so ago, this is the last God. one. So after that, there's always going to be maintenance. You know that. Sure, of but, course. But for the major infrastructure, the drainage work that we're doing for the water quality, this is the last project that yeah. we have up here. That's good. And then where do you go after that? You know, you I don't know. Know, <laughs> you know. huh? Do they relocate you in California, or do you stay in this area? Probably. No, I'll probably stay. I mean, we have Echo Summit coming up. We're doing oh, replacing right. the bridge up there. Yeah. And 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 about that, um, I heard that they're going to work on that bridge up on Echo Summit and close Echo Summit completely, right? Uh, they are. Uh -huh. not, uh, for I think we're still looking at ten days. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, just to get the the heavy bridge equipment in there. Sure. No, yeah. I, that sounds like a huge project. And then I'd heard that because of the closure, that they were going to work on that roundabout in Myers. Is that true? Yeah, the, so there'll be three projects next year coming into 50 Echo, the roundabout in Myers, and this one here in town. Cool. Well, that's that's it in a nutshell right there. Yeah. Cool. And the and the roundabout is at uh, Pioneer and 50? No, that's, that's 80, a separate. 80, 89, 89 and 50. 50. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Anything else to let people know? Uh, check Tahoe Roads. We're still updating the website, and we've got some good information there, and we'll keep doing that. Even when we shut down this winter, we'll still be updating the website. Steve from Caltrans coming in, updating us. We'll take a break and be back with more Lake Tahoe TV. Stay with.